inside. Officially known as the United States Bullion Depository, the impenetrable facility was built back in 1936 at the behest of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. The U.S. gold reserves Wait, okay, were not inside held then. in What's New York City and vulnerable to attack from foreign military powers. Fort Knox, which is 1,000 miles inland and to the west of the Appalachian Mountains, is packed full of security features and weaponry. As we pan around the exterior, you'll notice Fort Knox's gray facade. That's 4,200 cubic yards of concrete and 16,000 cubic feet of granite, over 750 tons of reinforced steel and 670 tons of structural steel. Building such a menacing fortress wasn't cheap. The, the building fuck? materials cost the U.S. government $431,167, which equals about $8.02 million when adjusted for inflation. That's not the bad. The cost of the entire project was $560,000, which is about $9.3 million adjusted That's for it? inflation. That's it? See these fences around Fort Knox? There are actually two separate electric fences around the depository. Around those two fences lies yet another concrete barrier, which acts as an additional defense measure. There's no way a vehicle could plow through the fences because of this barrier. Fencing surrounds the entirety of the facility, and if you look closely, you'll notice searchlights just past the innermost perimeter fence. As you drive along the entryway, you'll pass the barrier and first fence. The inner fence is protected by two guard stations on each side of the entryway. Show your credentials to the U.S. Mint Police guarding the entrance. Everything has to be in order. U.S. Mint Police can make upwards of $70,000 a year, inside. and there can be as many as 50 guards on the base at any time. The entire security detail costs the government four to five million dollars per year. Let's drive up to the fortress and take a closer look at the exterior security measures. Motion detectors and so they lose like seven gold bars a year just to keep the gold so bars. So be aware that you're being watched. Take a look up and to the left. On the second level, you'll notice a guard tower being manned by officers with machine guns. There's a tower at the back too, as well as one atop the second story. The area is being surveilled by ground sweeping radar and the lawn is littered with landmines. Yeah, I said landmines, so watch your step. Huh? At the back of the building, you'll find two large garage doors. This is where the $200,000 armored trucks unload the precious cargo. Have your credentials so ready because we're about base. to head inside. As the 22-ton front blast door opens, you'll be directed towards a security check where guards will pat you down and make sure your credentials are in order. Keep your pass on you at all times because this is only the first checkpoint you'll have to clear. Every inch of Fort Knox's interior is covered in cameras and motion detectors. Follow the hallway down to the authentication room where officials weigh and inspect the gold. They make sure everything is real before the gold heads down to the basement the vault. The authentication room connects directly the to the garage where the gold is unloaded. It's actually incredibly rare for new gold to be added to the depository. In fact, no gold has been transferred to or from Fort Knox for many years. Let's take the hallway down to one of the service elevators. These are wide enough to carry pallets of gold down to the basement. As you exit the elevator, you'll be greeted by a security team who will once again check your credentials. After a pat down, you can head down the hall to the vault where all the bullion is stored. The hallways in the basement are lined with cameras Only one and motion door. detectors too. The gold vault door before your eyes is just as impenetrable as the depository's front door. It's also 22 tons and is 21 inches thick. Nothing can get through. Not explosives nor machine guns. Put them away. Even a flamethrower won't do any good. The door will laugh at you if you try. To get through the door, you'd need the combination, but no single per- Guys, why don't they just break the wall next to the fucking still thing? Hmm? ...person in the world knows the entire code. Once officials enter all parts of the combination, we can head inside the vault. As you look around, you'll see rows and rows of gold bars. Inside the vault lies 147.3 million ounces of gold, worth a book value of about $6.2 billion. That's it! Because the price of gold has skyrocketed over the last few decades, the stash is now worth $291 billion. At the end of the vault is a hidden door. This door leads to a secret escape tunnel with access to the main level bad. of Fort Knox. Bad. It can only be accessed from the inside vault. Let's head up to the top level. The top level of Fort Knox is the command area. This is where the U.S. Mint Police survey the grounds. 
The communication center connects the guards to all areas of the depository, and the bulletproof glass windows on this level are all covered in steel bars. The guards have easy access to the balcony and outer guard towers via a secure door. What if this one level of them is, is compromised? A huge though? armory filled with ammunition and guns. Jesus! Did you know that during World War II, the Magna Carta was stored at Fort Knox? The historic document, which is worth about $15 million, briefly moved here during the Blitz. Thanks for watching. Guys, I wish it, these, uh, these videos have cool visuals, but I, I wish they had more like actual real life footage. Unless there's none out there at all of the, the actual fort itself or inside. Of the reason he did this is he wanted to devaluate the value of the dollar. Gold Bank England. Okay. Say no more. Gold Bank England. I want to see it. I want to see inside. I want to see them. The Ooh. Somebody infiltrated a spy. I think your stats said if you were going to do an Italian job on this place, you'd need four. Low I am allowing. I am allowed. Seven trillion dollars worth of gold. If, if, any amount of money they could buy the world, and this guy sitting here with a fucking three and a half dollar microphone. I can't. I can't. That's I can't. Right. I yeah. can't. It's incredible to look at, but it doesn't do anything. Why is it so valuable? Partly because it's rare, so it's in limited supply. You can't keep making it. The gold here is a store of value. It is globally recognized. People want gold, so it creates a market in itself. It doesn't change value as much, for example, as currencies. This is a lot more durable than Jesus. investing in chocolate or something like that. Two hundred billion. Question: What would this be worth? If you had a ring, XQC. I remember as you started. Why would you want your ring? I was afraid you'd stop made a gold. Chat. I remember as one point. Why not make it gold plated? Randy, you read literally every message. You never change. Hey, persona. You read always been here. I remember you since now much every uh, my doggy. And remember the I... fucking crust, dude, the crust. Yes. Preston hey, Lewis. How's your Thanks day? For, um, I love your streams and content. love your content. That's not how it works? Yeah, just go play. Roughly. 475,000 pounds at today's uh, market price. All right, well, that'll sort the mortgage. So most bars are in this, what we think of as a trapezoid form. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier it to corrodes. handle. But this bar here from the United States, is in the form of a now, brick. That the looked Reserve heavy. Bank of New York. Jeez. This is built on bedrock, so the gold can be stacked one on top of another. Here at the Bank of England, because uh, it's built on clay, we have floor loading limits, which is why we have the gold clay? in pallet. On fucking clay? All of the gold that was held in London was sent to what? the Bank of Canada in Ottawa. The area was used as an air raid shelter, and it had a canteen, had a billiards table, it had beds in. Interesting. That was interesting. Guys, I liked seeing the... Ooh, but how did they do it? Tell me, how do they do? How do they refine the gold to get the gold bar? I want to see it. Hey, Felix, you fucking suck. Shut up. Shut your dumb ass, man. Oh, wow. Wait, there's only one gold refinery. Gold finding methods in uh, what? 25 months. Let's rob the gold XQCL. Chat, couldn't you bend that? 99.99 gold? Couldn't you be literally bend it? For being so consistent. Happy two and a half years, XQCL.
children that come to us to buy a small gold coin for their grandchild 18th birthdays or 21st birthday up XQC to the, fa the family L. office that have under management 600 mid million pounds and decide to put 2% of their holding in physical bars and coins. It's a wide variety of people. That's not too stupid. I mean, it's not it's not a bad idea. F physical guys, gold is limited amounts, right? Price it, it, people need gold. People want gold, and the price is gonna go up. If you had three hundred million, two percent. Who gives a fuck? Two percent. You have no idea how much it's gonna be worth in whatever amount of years, but you'll have it regardless. I don't be dead. That's kind of cool. The first chemical will take away the base metals, and the second chemical will take away the silver. So you are just left with gold. Jeez. Just get on Amazon and buy a gold bar, Pepe. Girl. Um, Bitcoin is better, sure, man. Bitcoin been doing it. Bitcoin price. Oh wow, it's been pretty good. Went back Less up a little bit. Three. It's good for me. Like mine. Okay, this is kind of whatever now. I'm kind of tired of this.